Have you ever wanted to create viral videos but thought it was too hard or expensive? Many people are using powerful tools like View 3 but it is expensive and takes a lot of time. But don't worry AI is changing the game and now you can create viral videos easily and affordably with AI. Let me show you how. Hi everyone and welcome to Learn with Lacey. If you want to create videos that grab attention, Clipwise is your new best friend. I've been using this website for a while now and I can say it is worth it. That is why in this video I'm going to show you how to turn any idea into viral videos using just a text prompt. No editing skills needed. Clipwise lets you create multiple trending formats including AI viral videos, AI hosts, ready style content and engaging quiz all in just minutes. You can either create videos from your own ideas or recreate existing videos by providing a YouTube link. Here's how simple Clipwise is. You can create videos in three simple steps. Step 1 you type in your idea. Step 2 you edit the narration and customize the final video with AI. Clipwise gives you everything you need to make viral videos. From AI scripts, lifelike voiceovers, and lots of design themes, it's quick, simple, and ready to use. Now, let's create a video. First, you need to click on the link under this video to go to this website, and then you sign in using your Gmail account. After signing, you'll be brought to this interface. From here, there are six categories. We have viral faceless videos, AI host, quiz, Reddit style, business videos, e-commerce video. Anyone you click here, for example, I click viral faceless, you can see this is an example, a kind of preview of how the video is going to look like. If you click on AI host, you can also see that same kind of preview right from here. Depend on the kind of video you want to create. For example, I want to create viral faceless video. I'll just click on viral faceless video. From this area, you are going to type in your video prompt, describing the details, and you can also add a link if needed. From here, you can add from web link. I can say, create a short video from this link. So I'm going to paste in the link I want to use to create that video. So here's an example. I've just written in what I want to create my video about. After carefully input, inputting what you want to create your video about, you can then come down here. You select the language that you want to use. There are different options that you can pick from here. For example, I'm going to select English. Then here you select the duration of your video. We have from 30 seconds video up to 90 seconds video. So I'm going to select 30 seconds video and here you can add additional settings. You can see we have the tone. If you want to select the tone, we have from formal and to inspirational. So anyone you want to go with, you can go with. I'm going to select inspirational for this particular video. Then here you select your style. We have explainer, storytelling, conversational and listicles. So I'm going to select storytelling because that is what my video is going to be about. Here you select your audience, we have general, technical, beginner friendly, I'm going to leave it as general. Here you select your animation style, we have auto animation, AI is going to select the style for your video. We have soft animation, minimal images, fluid animation, medium images, bold animation, maximum images. So anyone you want to go with, you can select that. For this video, we are going to go with auto animation. After that, we are going to go over to the visual team. This visual team indicates the style of the video you want to go with. For example, if you click on view all, that you are going to have access to, like, we have different kind of um, visual team that you can pick from. For this video, I'm going to select 3D pizza style. Once that is selected, come here and close it. So after that, you come down here and click on generate video. From here, you are going to generate your script. Once your script is ready, here you can review your script and edit it to your own taste. From here, this is the visual style. So this first text here is the visual. That's what is going to be used to create the image for that particular scene. So this is scene one, scene two, scene three. So this is create the visual. That is the image for the first scene. And this is going to be the audio script. So if you want to change what is inside here, you can click on it and then you input what you want to have inside that audio script. Same thing you do for the scene too and up to all the other scene that you have available. If you don't like what you have gotten and you want to regenerate, you can come down here and click on regenerate with feedback after entering what you want to add to your story. After that, if you are satisfied, then you come here and click on start video generation. From here, after some few seconds, you are going to have this. Here you can select your narrator preference, that is the voice over actor you want to use over your video. If you come here, you can select gender, that is filtering down the kind of voice you are looking for. You can use the gender, you can use the accent, the age and the tone to select the kind of voice you are going in for. For this particular video, I'm going in for a female voice, so I'll select female from the gender option here. Over the accent, I'm going to select American. Then the age, I'm going to select 
middle for the tone i'm going to select narrative because i'm doing this for a story so here you can see narrative voice available here so from here you can click on this play button to play and listen to how this voice sounds like let's bring your ideas to life with the power of voice Sean, another cool feature we have here is you can clone your own voice using the clone your voice option right from that after selecting the voiceover you want to use then you scroll down and from here you can see this is the visual for your story scene one scene two and scene three if you are okay or if you want to add more scene you can click on add more and another scene is going to be added another thing you can do from here if you don't like this image i want to regenerate the image you can use this particular option this pencil icon just click on it and from here you can enter a text to describe the kind of image you want to have for that particular scene after entering the, the text then come down here and click on regenerate and you're going to have a different image for this particular entry after getting your image if you want to convert your image to a video then you click on convert to color if you click on convert to video right now let's wait and see the output of this and just from here you the image has been converted to a video if you want to regenerate you can click on regenerate or if you have your own image that you want to use you can click on upload media to upload that image for this scene and that is that so you can do all that converting all the images for each of your scene to a video using that simple step if you are satisfied with what you have gotten then you can come down here and click on next or if you want to convert all your images at once to a video you can click on convert all images to video right from this button right side so i'm going to click on next after a few seconds you are going to have your video ready right from here to take a preview of your video it is very fast in creating this video so let's take a preview of at 13 amanda wandered deep into the forest drawn by a whisper of magic character that's just a short preview of the video another thing you can still do here is to add background music to your video so these are different soundtrack that you can add you you can increase the music volume you can increase the video Under by using this slider you can reduce this video speed or you can increase the video speed then from here you can increase the volume of the background music by using this slider you can add transition sound by clicking on yes to enable transition sound you can select any of this soundtrack as the music or you can click on upload option here to upload your own specific music to use under your video after that then come down here we have the caption settings from this caption settings you can click here to enable here and then you can select different options from this caption style here you can click to select the font type for your type for the caption you can select the position of the caption from here either bottom center or anywhere you want the caption to be from here this is the caption from here you can select the caption color so if i want a video overlay this is digital word white sphere you have orange frame you have leak leaks we have light leaks so there are different um, video overlay you can use now if you are satisfied then you can come down here and click on next right down here you can click on the download video to download this video if you still want to edit the video you can click on this or the edit option to edit and now let's take a full preview of at 13 amanda wandered deep into the forest drawn by a whisper of magic carried on the wind little did she know her life was about to change forever suddenly a fairy appeared her wings sparkling like diamonds in the sun she smiled warmly and whispered secrets of courage, kindness, and dreams yet to come. From that day on, Amanda carried the fairy's light within her, reminding us all that magic lives where we dare to believe. What magic will you find today? Now let's talk about the pricing. Clipwise offers great plans, and if you are serious about creating videos, the annual plan is your best option. And right now, you can get 60% off on the yearly plan. It's up to 10 times cheaper than other tools like View3 or in video and it works just as well whether you're just starting or already making videos clipwire makes it easy for anyone to create content that stands out go ahead and try clipwise for yourself if you have used it or want to drop a comment below and i would love to hear your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this thanks for watching i'll see you in my next video